Throughout the ages, people have used their hands to heal. Hands are very special. If something hurts, we often will rub it, massage it. Somebody says, oh, this hurts, we put our hands on. Well, the ancient Qigong masters knew that the hands had very special healing properties, and they developed a whole system of Qigong energy work around it, the cultivation of energy into the hands. Now, this practice was both for self-healing, that's first and foremost, and then used as a tool to bring more energy into the hands for massage therapists, for acupuncturists, for energy workers, and for anybody who really wanted to bring healing energy to somebody else. So this work is very powerful in activating the energy of the hands. It's called Buddha Palm, and it signifies the name that we're bringing loving kindness, loving kindness to the hands. You know, the Buddhists were about compassion and kindness, and Buddha Palm was this loving kindness through healing. It's a Qigong practice. Qi means energy, using energy as a way to heal. And this practice is quite profound in how it activates life force energy and then directs it into the hands. What I wanna do is show you a little bit about what this practice is all about and take you through a guided healing practice for self-healing. This is what we wanna do first and foremost is send energy to our bodies. You have tremendous healing power innate within you. And Qigong practice activates that healing energy. And the Buddha palm, the specific set of Qigong, will activate it and direct it to where we want it to go. Let's start with this. Let's start off warming up the hands. What I want you to do is rub your fingernails back and forth together. And this is gonna activate the meridians in the hands. So vigorously rub the fingernails back and forth together and take a deep breath. In through the nose, let's exhale out through the mouth. Just letting go of any old energy, anything that's no longer needed in bringing healing energy into your mind and your body. Do that one more time. Good, and now palms face up and shake it out opening the energy pathways through the wrists, through the inside of the arms. This is your heart meridian. And we were talking about loving kindness. When you open up the heart meridian, that loving kind energy can express itself out through the hands. So opening the energy right through the inside of the wrists. Take a nice deep breath. <sighs> hands to the sides, shake out the arms, and then relax. Let's see if we can feel energy in our hands. So number one, let's activate life force energy. There's a lot of life force energy in there. It's just not activated or circulating, so then it's harder to use. So feel that activated energy in the hands. Now what I want you to do is connect to the earth, palms face down. We want to drop in and connect to source energy, the source, the earth. Think about what the earth can do. It can take compost, garbage, waste, manure, you put it on the earth, it gives you back a garden. So in that same way, I want you to let go of old energy and just feel that letting go into the earth, that transformation, take a deep breath, your knees just slightly bent, palms facing down and connect. Now bring the hands up over the head, connect to the universe above you. We're connecting to the two energy sources, the earth and the heavens. This would be yin and yang. The earth is yin, the heavens are yang. Just imagine all the stars above your head. Bring some of that starlight into your fingertips and into your hands. And slowly bring the hands down. And now imagine that the earth and the sky are in your hands. The energy of the earth and the sky are in between the hands. And I want you to bring the hands a little closer together and then a little further apart and just pulse the energy here.
Good, now turn your palms face up. Imagine some sparkly golden energy in your palms. And then just take that energy and send it to your lungs, right here at your chest. The hands aren't touching, you're just holding maybe about four or five inches away from the chest and then go a little closer and a little further away. Just pulse some of that sparkling golden light right into your lungs. And this little sequence is good for organ healing. Breathe slowly in through the nose and out through the nose. A little pulsing of the hands. And then come a little bit lower. So now we're going to get to the heart and the pericardium and the middle of the chest. And pulse the hands back and forth. Sending healing energy into your chest, into your heart, pericardiums and lungs. Breathe slow through the nose. And then by your ribs. On the right side, we're sending healing energy to the liver, on the left side to the stomach. And just pulse the hands a little closer, a little further, nice and slow. Good, and then down, all the organs in the lower abdomen, large intestine, small intestine, at the very back of the abdomen, your kidneys. Send some healing energy to the abdomen. Hold that chi ball again. Feel the energy in your hands a little closer, a little further. Maybe the chi in the hands is feeling stronger, like there's an electromagnetic field of energy in your hands. Take a deep breath. Bring your hands down to your sides. Check in with yourself. Notice how you feel. Eyes closed. Take a deep breath. Feel that sparkling golden healing energy moving through your whole system. And now, just take the hands anywhere where you might need it. Let's say you have shoulder pain. You could hold the hands a few inches away. You could touch the shoulder. Let's say you have low back pain. You could put your hands on your lower back. If you're feeling like you want to work with emotional stress, you could put your hands maybe right over the center of your chest. Just take the hands anywhere where you might need a little extra healing. Send it to that area of the body. Slowly relax, hands down. All right, well, I hope you enjoy that. Buddha Palm, Qigong, all about the cultivation of life force energy directed for healing purposes. Thank you so much.